Okay, so this is going to be a continuation to the other video that I was doing where I was showing reforming a large capacitor 350 volts DC 20 or 6800 microfarads right there or third I don't know what I said 3600 microfarads right now I'm just discharging it it's down to uh, 260 millivolts or whatever it is that's probably good enough all right we'll just take that off so obviously the capacitor is going to recover just because it's capacitor that's what they do so all right we'll put the uh We'll hook the uh, DC power supply back up to it again. Uh, we're on set. We're, I went to 300 volts and we're going to try 8 amps. And so we'll give it a shot. Takes a few seconds there and then she should kick in. There it goes. Kicks in, kicks in, kicks in. All right, so it limited limit. The limit is at I don't know why I can't speak. Well, I guess it's one o'clock in the morning. Uh, the limit's at eight milliamps, and looks like up here it's at seven. Um, yeah, she's whipping up pretty quick there. Fifty-five, fifty-seven, fifty-eight. Uh, and well the limits at 300 so I'm not sure I don't think I it got past uh, 155 when I uh, was attempting it the first time so I'm gonna see where she uh, she shuts down here this time or I don't even know why it would shut down. This this amplifier here is, is good for 6,000 volts, so I don't know why it would even shut down at all. So it's saying no load. I don't know exactly what that means, but so we're getting close to 155. Right around there, the uh, milliamp started to dance around a little bit. But it seems to be still steady, and we're past 155 now. Well, she's starting to dance a little bit there. We're, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a bad angle for the, uh, the voltmeter to see it, but, uh, yeah, we're breaching 200, no problem at all. So, uh, yeah, I think on big capacitors, this may be the way to do it. Um, if you can find one of these on eBay, I don't think I paid a whole lot of money for this. Like I have actually two of them. There's another one over there. But I think I only paid like $150 for this. Like these are old equipment from some laboratory. Oh, she's dancing again. It seems to be when it gets close to uh, when it gets close to the shutoff voltage here. No, there it goes. So 
so I'm not really quite sure why it does that it's kind of it's like it's ramping down and then for some reason okay well it's up there quite a bit on voltage so I'm just gonna put the uh, doesn't matter the polarity of drain the resistor oh come on good love being left I'm not left handed there she's going down that's barely on there there cut her there yeah she's going down slow I'm not sure I could calculate the uh, amount of milliamps and the amount of uh, wattage but it's going down slow enough that I have a feeling that uh, that it's well within the limits of the half watt so let's see what are we looking at six minutes okay so I guess I only got up to about 280 volts there so that'll be the end for this video um, I think after this I'll attempt 400 and that should bring me over 350 and that'll roughly because that it says a max surge current of 400 oh, here I suppose I can show it. it says a max surge of 400 volts DC but we're talking milliamps so there's no real major surge of that that would be to do with uh, a power supply and getting a surge of 400 volts with current behind it and uh, that's not going to be the case here so that's uh, that's video 2 just uh, going on how I uh, how I'm going to start I'm going to use this power supply in order to uh, reform my capacitors as you can see it works quite well I'm just going to have to adjust for for it uh, scaling down when the voltage is because it seems that it gets close to the voltage limit and it's uh, it's kicking out just due to the fact that it's not seeing the load and all of it it's just a capacitor so there's not much of a load there anyway all right cheers